Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 43, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And, uh, a little late starting the stream today. Uh, all sorts of software trouble. And a pending Windows update. I I'm sure that'll make all... All my problems go away. If you believe that, I've got some uh, landing space on Nar Shaddaa to sell you. Okay. <laughs> so, speaking of Nar Shaddaa, that is on our way. Uh, but I realized before, as I was getting ready, that we never went back to the uh, mining station to turn in... Wait, no, that's not it. Evan Hawk. Bragos Tomb. Citadel Station, there we go. I wanted to go back to the Citadel Station to turn in the quest for the uh, the prisoners that escaped that we uh, <clears throat> took care of on the planet's surface. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's do that first. Oh, and it's going to... There we go. Let's get our little video in there. Yeah, my stream deck decided that today it was also going... Well, Tuesday it first started going out. Today it has gone completely out. And it just refuses to connect with uh, XSplit for... For good. The realsies. I'm trying to... Uh, make all this work without it. I got a funny feeling we're going to have to do that a couple more times as we go, so... Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> of course it did. There we go. Uh, oh, and there we go. Let's, uh, let's go turn in some questicles, shall we? Just the one. Uh, I want to... Normally I wouldn't worry about turning around to head back for the bounty, but, um... I really like the idea of... Ooh, ooh, who do I want? Uh, I should probably have somebody ranged. I mean, I, I really want Kriya. Because she's got the extra healing and force abilities. But I can never seem to get her to reliably use them. And that is more than marginally frustrating. I, I think I need to build up some goodwill with the handmaiden in order to in order to unlock some of the stuff that I want to unlock. So the question is, do I want ranged or do I want skills? Uh I'm going to go ahead and take skills only because I actually no, let, let me go ahead and take uh Atten. That way I can try to get No, oh, I'm not sure, but I guess so. Because uh, I want him involved in as many talky things as possible. So that way when it comes time to level him up, I can do so with as much uh, Jedi levels as possible. Because that is the ultimate goal. Wait. Seriously? Come on. Let me out of here. Open the access hallway door, Hal. Oh. Are you kidding me? We gotta do this every time? fun um oh this can't be good I was not expecting this all right Unless you want to do this let's do this targets acquired annoying recitation hm. let us proceed to facilitate communications recitation and bring about the termination of hostilities termination of hostilities you say huh Alrighty then I really wasn't planning on doing this, but let's go ahead. Let's do that. Let's uh, pop a Knight Valor and... Oh, all I've got is the melee shield because I was doing that other thing. Shoot. Not you guys. All right, fine. And then we'll get some flurries out there. Uh... Oh, and I still haven't even armed her or armored her. I knew I was forgetting something. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Let's, uh... 
Not a frag grenade. Let's toss an ion grenade. Pop a shield so at least somebody's got one. And then, uh... Oh, he's just got sniper and attack. And then let's queue up the attacks. Yikes. This is not what I was expecting. Member down. She is down already, isn't she? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Let's, uh... Queue up a couple heals. Because, uh, they're eating into my health, too. Yikes. Um, yeah, they seem to be hitting me up as, uh, as fast as I'm healing. Um, there we go. Oh, yikes. Uh, th this is, this is making a rotten start even more rotten. Come on, Adam. Hit him faster. Nope. Well, shoot. Might be starting back from a save. Alright, uh... Let's, uh, let's just queue up the... Well, you know what? Actually, since nobody else is over there, let's toss a grenade and... That seems to go better. Oh! Nope. Alright. That went, uh... That went horribly. Okay. Let's, uh, let's fix a few things, shall we? Let's switch that melee shield for an energy shield. Okay. And let's make sure that Madam Handmaiden actually has something other than the Handmaiden staff equipped. That seems important. What are her skills? Oh, and she's only level six? Oh, oh, no wonder why she got murdered so quick. All right, um, let's see. Okay, so she's going down the two-weapon fighting like I am. Um, although more power attack than I am. Got the heavy armor proficiency. This could be the person that I go ahead and tap for some of that heavy armor. What, what was her dex? 16? Ooh. Alright, so any penalty more than plus 3 is, uh... Alright, um... And she's one of the people that I can convert to a Jedi. Um... The lower level she is when I do that, the, the more Jedi levels I can give her. Especially since Soldier's really not going to be helping that much. Alright, let's get her up to level 8. Just so that way, um... She's up to the HKs. Actually, no. Why, why am I doing this? I, I got I got a crew of perfectly good... Where's my change crew button? There used to be a change crew button. There we go. You know what? Let's uh, remove her and add him. Okay. There we go. Alright. I've got the energy shield equipped. And everybody's got at least one energy shield. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's, uh, let's try this again, shall we? This time, uh, this time with less dying? Maybe? Is there a way up here while I'm at it? 
I'm sorry. It's just been a, a, a string of like uh, mm. Nope. Locked. Fine. Fine. I get it. It's going to be that kind of day. All right. Come on. Everybody in here? Airlock terminal. Open the hallway door. And let's try this again, shall we? Unnecessary observation. Yeah, no we're we're gonna skip the Okay. Let's uh disable droid. Pop a shield. Valor. And then our power attack. See if that doesn't help. Alright, let's toss an ion grenade. Pop a shield. And then throw some attacks. And let's throw a frag grenade. Pop a shield. Um let's drop some power attacks. I hear you. What are you doing running in there? I I don't I don't even. Why why do I even bother with you people? I don't get it. Come on, get him quicker. Uh, let's back off a couple of those, throw another heal in there, then a disabled droid, and then a regular attack. Come on. Yeah, we should be able to manage. Well, that went better. Ooh, HK chassis. Hey! Uh, yes, there is crafting in this game. It's one of the additions that they added in the second Knights of the Old Republic. And I do like it. I don't do as much of it on stream, though, just because it's not a... It's fun to do, but it's not fun to watch. All right. Is that all the bodies to loot? That is all the bodies to loot. I'm going to have to remember to craft up some more ion grenades, too. Don't let me forget. Only because it appears I'm going to need a few. I mean, all I came in here to do was... Oh, oh that's right. Atten still needs to level up. Uh, he's just going to have to wait. All right, and... Since the fighting is done, I love you, man, but I, I'm not trying to earn points with you just yet. <laughs> uh, there is plenty of options to be the evilest Sith Lord that ever lived in this version of the game. There is definitely, definitely options for that. Uh, it, it is kind of hard to continue playing a light side character, which is what I'm trying to do this go around. Uh, let's talk it? about the bounties, and I, I killed see. the escape criminals. Where and when did you kill them? I followed them to the restoration zone, where they were on duty as Zerka security. I see. Well, you certainly earned the bounty on those two dangerous criminals. Here it is. I think you'll find the amount more than adequate. The TSF <laughs> once again thanks you for your cooperation. 200 credits? That's it? I came back here for 200 bucks. I'm not feeling like that's adequate. I did all that for 200 bucks. Alright, fine. Fine. Let's see if I can manage this without bumping into too many walls. Alright. 
All right, now we're going to head on over to Narshida and try to do whatever comes next. And before I forget, again, I really do need to equip her with some stuff. Um, she does like the two weapon. She's got the handmaiden staff. That's two to 12 damage, plus two attack, plus one defense, but it is not upgradable. I've got a double-bladed sword that's the same damage, but it, uh, no bonus to attack or defense, but it is upgradable. So I may have to eventually see if I can upgrade that double-bladed sword. Because, uh, yeah, it looks like that's the best option for right now. So that handles that. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that works. Well, that gives a defense bonus of one, so that means that if I end up not doing that... Ah, no. Not until I can upgrade it. Alright. Let's get you... Melee shield. And let's get you... An energy shield. Let's get you a reflex save. Oh, nothing on that slot. And I don't have a whole lot of good stuff for the hand slot. Um, computer use and security isn't really going to help. Uh, the plus two to dex will help, though. Because getting the blaster, pistol, and rifle feats aren't going to help. I mean, the insulated gloves could help, but we're not dealing with a whole lot of cold or fire damage right now. So let's do this just for the plus two dexterity. That that that's the least bad option of the equipment I have on hand, and I'll have to I'll have to do something about that. All right, uh, I do. Man, I got to figure out how long before I can convert her to a Jedi, or what the criteria is. Because I would really like to to get the maximum number of Jedi levels out of that. But if she, it's not going to be for a long while in the game, then I might not. But let's uh, let's live with that for the moment. All right. Open bay one door, Al. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that for you. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, that's right. While well, I'm thinking about it, we got HK remains, and I can replace the chassis. All right. <laughs> it looks like it'll make the chest off sparking, which is a minor relief. All right. Uh, journal entry. Please tell me which one it is that I'm missing. You've installed the chassis. All that remains is the droid processor. All right, I got to remember. I don't remember where the droid processor is. Let me see if I can find that after Nar because I didn't think I was going to be able to get him until much later. Uh, the earlier I can get him, um, I need, in order to get Korea to answer some of the questions I want her to answer, I need to gain influence with her. And there are no light side options for gaining influence with her. So what I might do is take her and HK, do the things that'll get me influence with them, and then later do the light side stuff to get myself back up. Because I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to stay on the light side of things. I mean, if you notice, I'm so light side, uh, I, I'm off the chart. And I like that light side mastery gets you a plus three to constitution. You have no idea how much I love that. I, I you know, I almost forgot. Oh, okay. But it still doesn't give, let me use the advanced combat system implant. Yeah, because that means my total constitution is a 19. What's the, what's the minimum there? 16. Okay. Oh, is it because it's a temporary bonus? It's probably because it's a temporary bonus. All right. 
let me go ahead and switch this to the full screen there because I'm sure there's going to be an animation. All right, so that's Telos. I'm not going to Onderon. I'm going to Nar Shada. Oh, here we go with the videos. That is the fun thing. This game definitely gives you gives you options. Oh, and well, here I don't, we are. Oh, here Smuggler's we go. Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda from all Just sides the pilots? of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar is right. a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for is someone to get lost. If we wanted vile. to get out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. Where's the uh, vile hive of scum and villainy option for the conversation? Oh, wait, no, that's not for another 4,000 years in a different location. Uh, um, what's now? Hutta? A lot of ex-soldiers. How hard it would be to find a Jedi? How hard will it be to hide here? Let's take the Evan Hawk in for a landing. Let's, um... Alright. How hard is it going to be to find a Jedi here? It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. What's the refugee sector? Other questions that I haven't asked yet. Uh, <laughs> you sound like you've been here before. Anyone flying the star lanes has docked on Nar Shaddai at least once. I wouldn't want to live there. You, uh, I doubt anyone does by sound choice. a little defensive there, good sir. All right, what's the... <laughs> Uncle Chucky? Uh, not familiar with him. All right. Well, not everyone who came to Nar Shadda were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. So, what else do I want to ask? Well, so this is giving me the option. What is Nal Hutta? It means glorious jewel in Hatis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the huts. You? Nar Shaddaa orbits. I didn't want to think about that part. as slimy as the huts. I, I, I just want to think about the huts as, you know, where those slugs reach appearing. Where grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me, we're not going to go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. That bad? I didn't think anything could compel you to bathe. You spend mm. all day thinking up that joke? Maybe you and Beodor should start a circus. I fail to understand the reference, though I doubt your explanation would prove worthwhile. Ouch. All right, guys. Uh, what is the refugee sector? Not everyone who came to Nar Shaddaa were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering oh. the galaxy. Never mind, I asked that already. Psionics is in the D&D Psionics, or... Um are we talking about something a little different? All right. Before I forget, let me also ask: How hard would it be to hide Should here? It be too hard. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in, or find you once you arrive. All right. Well, let's take her in for a landing, because I don't. Uh I don't see a lot of good uh, other questions to ask. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's going to find us here. That does remind me that I think this was where the, bount the, the fake bounty hunter guy was uh, from. 
I know there was somebody that tried to assassinate us while we were in the the lockup over at Telos. And was it here or somewhere else that they had originally flown in from? I need to check the uh, the the journal. Um, I really don't need more ships following me. Is that the... Oh. I'd have inserted the cut sooner if I knew there, there was this much talking to do. I thought that came a little later. Oh, no, no, no. I, I am familiar with what uh, Psyonix is. I just wasn't sure if he was talking about it in terms of, uh, like, D&D, because that's what I'm most familiar with. But that does sound to be about the same. Hmm. Goto said is filled with madness. Uh, ooh. Alright, so they still want to hunt me down, and... Huh. The handsome Jedi. Well, ham dashing. It's the hair, isn't it? <laughs> Your peace leaves that's unspoken. Oh. I hear you not even collect the life debt. Um, okay, so we got a bunch of mercenaries talking smack to each other. And that is one we angry Wookiee. If Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Hmm. It would be unwise to commit violence here. Goto's order was clear. So you say, we are not to harm the handsome Jedi while he walks on Narshada. Well, I do love that you... Unless we are attacked first, we are permitted to defend ourselves. Okay. Hmm. Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. <laughs> this Jedi is different. Oh, but he said nothing of the Jedi's comp Oh, oh, oh. I see. You're, you're going to try attacking my people and then coming after me? Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Welcome to Nar Shada. Towering buildings kilometers high and miles deep, with canyons so wide you could have a dogfight in them. Word hmm. of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Oh, fun. Uh, are we going to be okay on this landing pad? Evan Hawk looks a little exposed. Any problems with docking authorities? Let's, uh, let's start with are we going to be okay on this landing pad? Sure. Most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed. Or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. Huh. Interesting. All right. Um. Yeah, the Evan Hawk does look a little exposed. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. That, uh, that sounds like a really good idea. There seem to be a lot of people that are very interested in me every time I land somewhere. Are we gonna... Any problems with the docking authorities? No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee center um, is a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the exchange... Or the it is a very fun movies. game so far. Alright, is this the refugee sector? In all its glory. 
Don't get your hopes up from what you see here, though. As soon as we hit the main sector, that's when the smell and the mobs can get pretty bad. All right, then let's All move right, on. Then let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. <laughs> okay. I'm just looking for a place to lay low. I wouldn't mind getting some new equipment. I want to find out more about this bounty on the Jedi. If the Master is here, I want to find him. Be silent. Come with me. <laughs> that doesn't seem the way to influence, win friends and influence people. Uh... I do want to find out more about the bounty, though. Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the exchange are going to want to shoot you. And someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone. Which means trouble. The bounty That's is a fair. waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. The intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. This bounty poses a threat to him. We do not need two beasts at our back when the Sith are enough. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will, servant of Atris. It makes no difference. It's up to you. Um. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. Well, I mean, I got an extra 200 credits for that bounty, so uh, I'm sure we could buy somebody with that. It does bother me, though, that um, we... Uh, we get a lot more interpersonal sniping in the second Knights of the Old Republic than we do in the first one. As entertaining as it is, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Alright. And... Let's, uh... I do want to find the Jedi Master. Finding a Jedi or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're going to search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. Good idea. All right, uh, then let's see what our path takes us. Or where right, our path takes us. If you have any us. questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Hey! Uh oh. Um. What's with you? Let that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! Um. I'm trying to remember. Did. Star Wars Episode 1 come out before or after Knights of the Old Republic 2? Because I don't recall ever seeing that critter until Episode 1. Unless it's because I just never played Knights of the Old Republic 2 until now. I, I'm definitely going to have to look that up later when I get a chance. First, let's, uh... <laughs> Alright, I don't want to do the Force Persuade because if I remember these creatures are immune to that. And trying to do that's not going to be a good idea. I don't want to get myself into more trouble with the exchange or into trouble with the huts, so I'm not going to try lying just yet. Let's uh, let's let's try returning a little snark for snark. It's a landing pad. Ships land on it. No, really? Thanks for the insight. And here I was thinking you were a smart human. I got another ship coming in, and unless you want that piece of junk's hull crushed flat, you better move it. Got it? Uh, what other ship? That's none of your business. All you need to know is that they're going to be firing up their quad lasers if they find your ship squatting there when they arrive. <laughs> All right. Uh, I could threaten them, but that again doesn't seem to way to win friends and influence people. So let's try... You're lucky my ship's gracing your trash heap. Huh? My trash heap? Hmm. Fine. Land there. My trash heap's all that's keeping your ship from making a final plunge. And trust me, it won't be long in coming, I promise you. I got some visitors booked for your space. But I'm sure the two of you can work it out when they arrive. 
All right, then uh, let me pick a party. And uh, and then I'll uh, do a quick intermission. All right. Uh, let's see how this party goes. No, I'm not sure, but this is the party I'm going to try. I got a funny feeling I'm going to have to level her up. But, um... Yeah, I, I got a funny feeling I'm going to have to level her, level her up. Let me, uh... I'm already longer than I intended to be for the first episode of the live stream. Because the live stream is just me live recording the next six episodes that go up on YouTube. Uh, so let me insert my cut. Do a short intermission on the live stream and then we'll be right back. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.